Castle of the British Republic, thanks for coming because um, we heard all these rumours that you might not make it because of, uh, of all the sort of terror alerts. Was it important for you to still be seen to be out there and for the human rights? I feel like this is like a second home. I've been coming here with Destiny's Child since I was 16 or 15 years old and it's almost been 10 years. So of course I had to come. I wanted everyone to just to see that, you know, this is important for me and it was actually never an issue. That was some crazy rumors. Who knows who started? I was always going to come and I'm, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy for people to see that that it's important. Absolutely. Now a little bird tells me that you kind of uh, snuck into the studio and got cracking on this album when you were supposed to be on vacation. What's wrong with you, girlfriend? Something is definitely wrong. <laughs> you know what? The problem is I really love what I do and I love music and I couldn't be away from it. I was doing a film, Dream Girls, for six months, and I did not allow myself studio time. And I said, I'm not going to be a Beyonce the celebrity for this time because I don't want to get confused with this character because she's she's a singer, and she's very, very different from me, but I wanted to make sure I stayed focused you know, with this movie, and I gave it fair opportunity to, to learn the craft of acting, and um, I had so many songs and so many concepts bottled up inside, being away from performing and singing for six months, that while I was on, um, on my vacation, I told everyone, please let me be. Don't ask me to do anything. Don't, don't call me. Let me go away and relax and get my mind back and kind of come back to my body, because I've been in Dina's body, which is the character, for so long. And while I was there, I couldn't relax. So I said, well, I'm, in, I'm, I'm coming back to New York. I'm going to be down the street from Sony Studios. I might as well just sneak over there and um, just play. So I called the producers that I was going to work with the next year, and um, we set up a little studio time, and we were all in the zone. So we did three songs a day, and I didn't want to go home. And... Um, every morning I was like, oh God, I want to get back in the studio. I just wanted to be in the studio. I fe it felt so good. And I did the record in over a little over two weeks. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Was it, it must have been almost like pent up inside you then. Was it just like, whoa. Exactly. I, it was so many things built up. Um, and the crazy thing is the record is really aggressive. And I'm very happy. I'm very content in my life. But Dina felt like she was trapped and she was married and she was in this relationship for so long and she, it was all the things I wanted to say while I was doing the movie, all the things I wanted the character to say. So I'm speaking for every woman that's kind of been in a relationship for a long time and it's, it's supposed to empower women to, to have the extra boost to say all the things that they feel in their hearts. So it's really a strong album and it really makes, makes women feel like they're powerful and it kind of makes you want to get your power back. I'd be interested in the conversation you had with Jay-Z when he first listened to Get You. He must have been like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> no, he loved the record. He, he knows, you know, with, even with Destiny's Child, um, Writings on the Wall, we always, I kind of, Destiny's Child, Kelly, Michelle, and I, we were the women that kind of stood up for women and um, the same thing, you know, Independent Woman and Survivor and all those records. I feel like it's, it's really sexy and beautiful to see a strong woman, and that's, that's kind of what this is about. But it's not an autobiography. It's not about me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I'm scared about that, my woman there for a minute. Okay. Good, I'm glad things are going well. Um, and you're releasing it on your birthday. I am. I can't believe you're going to be 25. I know, time goes by. How are you going to celebrate? I'm, well, other than releasing an album, which is pretty good. It uh, is. You know. my, my, the best birthday gift is for my album to be received really well. Um, and I, I think I'm just going to have like an intimate dinner with, with my friends and hopefully some good food. I'm gonna have a party after um, an award show in in New York on the 31st, but it's gonna be like a big party with a lot of people, so I won't be able to relax. So I'll do it on my actual birthday, just at home, private intimate dinner. How do you relax? Because I mean, we just 
thought about your schedule, and you know, you are kind of a workaholic. We'll, we'll put that one on, a on bit, record. A little bit. But, you know, I mean, how do you take time off? Um, I make sure I have my vacations. I make sure, even though I didn't this time, but I try to have at least a couple weeks a year, um, twice a year, summer and winter. And I, I, I'm taking October off the whole month, and I make sure every couple weeks I, I see my nephew, I see my friends, I have certain weekends off, and I'm just really in control of my schedule which um, it took me a while to learn to say no, which is something that a lot of people have a hard time saying. Because I, I like to take care of everyone and I like everyone to be happy, so it's, it's difficult. But I, I've learned that I have to be a little bit selfish and take care of myself because I have time. I want to be here at least another, you know, for singing at least another 15 years, you know. You look amazing in the, the video. Thank I you. I love all the, the changes and the outfits Thank and you. everything. And you, you have your own dance style that, you know, everybody kind of emulates now. I mean, is dancing something that's really important to you? Is that a way you keep fit and, you know, you're really looking good? Thank you. Uh, I love to dance. I love to dance on stage and in videos. Um, I think people will be surprised to see me dance in, in real life. I'm really a lot more reserved and kind of shy. Um, I kind of do the two-step that I saw my parents do. <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't bust into choreography in an intimate setting. <laughs> but, you know, I, I'm, I'm a singer and I, I do dance, but I, I love to sing way more than dance. <laughs> Looking at all the different styles that you've got in the video, which, which style would you, I mean, are you a fashion, do you follow fashion, you've got your own line in it, how would you describe your style? Um, I think my style is eclectic, I like so many different things, um, it depends on, on what the treatment is or where I'm going, I, I'm I love, you know, everything from tailor suits to just crisp white shirts to jeans to beautiful gowns to really, you know, sexy shorts and all different types of things. I, I just love, I love fashion and I love being able to do photo shoots and videos and play dress up and, you know, go home in my jeans and, you know, do different, do different styles. I, I love House of Darion because, um, for one, it's a collaboration with my mother, and it celebrates three generations. It's my grandmother, my mother, and myself. And my mother's my stylist. She pulls all the clothes with Ty Hunter, my other stylist. And it's great working with her. For one, she's my best friend, and I admire her. And if I could be like anyone, it would be her, because she's just a, such a strong, smart, beautiful woman. And it, it's great to have an excuse to see her every every couple of weeks. I know that I can just say, Mama, you gotta come here. You have to come to, to London because we have to talk about sketches when I'm just lonely and I wanna see her. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> You're very family orientated. And um, um, last time we caught up with Dan, you said, you know, yeah, I'm looking forward to settling down, having some kids. Where does that sit on your agenda? Um, I'm young. I'm I'm 24. I'll be 25 when this album comes out. Um, but I, I have time, and who knows? I, that happens whenever it happens. It happens. It could happen in a year. It could happen in five years. But I'm I'm in no rush, and I do think family is really really important. I grew up with both of my parents, and with my sister, and my cousin, and with Kelly, and all the girls, and it was always a lot of love in my house. So I want the same thing. And how do you um, um, find time to keep on top of what else is going on in the music world? I mean, what, what's on your kind of iPod or, or your MP3? You know? um, believe it or not, I don't have an iPod. <laughs> I've never even really had, I've had many, but I've never used them. Mm -hmm. um, I do like Niles Barkley mm -hmm. and um, that's probably the most recent person I've been listening to. And um, film, is that on the back burner for a while? It, it, you've got kind of music head back on? And, you know, kind of My music head is back on. Um, thank God for the album. I was able to kind of get myself back. <laughs> um, but, you know, the, the movie comes out in January here. So I'll be back promoting the movie pretty soon. And... Um, 
it's it's really interesting how the movies inspire the music and the music inspires the movie. When whenever I do an album and I do all this all the touring and then I'm like, okay, after a year of it, I want to do something else. And I love the stability of the movies and I just love doing something that I'm still learning. I'm new at. It's, it's almost like starting over, which is really exciting. And then when I do that, the movie I'm like, okay, I gotta get back in the studio. I wanna go perform every night. So it keeps my life interesting and that's that's my goal to keep growing and keep keep learning and becoming more of an artist and I'm I'm happy I've been given the opportunities to do both. Last time we caught up you said your goals were to have 